I'm going to replace a chassis on the boot of an inline skate. Uh, why would you want to do this? Well, if you broke the chassis or it's bent, or you want to upgrade to a better chassis, or you want to swap from inline to ice, it's the same boot. So regardless, it's the same process, and here's how I'm going to do it. Now the first step is to remove the laces. On commercial skates, the chassis are held on with rivets and they make these little star shapes once they're pushed through. So all you have to do to get those out is to find something that fits kind of in the middle of that that will push it through. And I used a file that had a end that was made to go into a handle and it was just the right size to go into that hole, slightly bigger than the hole in the center of the rivet. And then with a few taps, you can knock it right through. And once it goes through, the rivet usually is stuck to the end of the file or whatever it is you use. And that's that. And you just do it for the rest of them. Since the file or whatever you're using won't fit down into the toe of the boot, you have to kind of carefully pry those rivets out without tearing the boot up. But it doesn't take too much once you've got the rest of them out. And these are my son's skates and he was upgrading the chassis because he bent one and he needed a thicker chassis. And he'd done this twice, so. This time he bought the more expensive ones. And you can tell they're thicker. And good news for me is they're made by the same people, so the holes line up exactly. Now I'm gonna use number six 32 3 8 inch bolts and T-nuts that go with it and some lock washers. And just for extra surety, I'm using some Loctite. Now the little things that stick up on the T-nut, those are too long. They'll stick through the bottom. So I just took some wire cutters and snipped them off. They're not completely flat but they are thin enough that they won't go all the way through the sole while still gripping. I bored the holes out just a little bit so the bolts would fit well. Because they were slightly bigger than the holes that were in there already. If you're replacing with a different chassis that doesn't fit, it needs to line up with the heel and the ball of your foot where the weight is going to go. That is important. But since these holes line up, it was easy for me. Now some people said you had to use longer bolts for the heel than you did for the toe. Turns out in these skates, I didn't. So I'm going to show you a little trick. If you ever wonder what the holes were in your wire cutters, well you can screw a bolt into it, give it a squeeze, and it cuts it off cleanly so the threads aren't bunged up and you can still use them. But this is what it looks like once you get the nuts in. It is tricky to get everything in there the way you want, but you want the nuts on the inside and the bolts on the bottom. That's why you don't want them too long because they'll be poking you in the bottom of the foot. but I put a little bit of Loctite on each one 
and put the bolt up into the boot with the nut on the inside and a lock washer in between and tighten them down real well. Use a little bit of spray adhesive on the insert just so it won't slip so it'll stay in there and stay where it's supposed to be without wrinkling up under its foot. And that's really all there is to it. It took me probably a little less than an hour to do both skates. The second one was much faster than the first one, of course. And he's played on them since then, and they felt good and didn't bother his feet and performed like they were supposed to. So, easy fix, new skates. Thanks for watching.